memory of the departed, a path in which we will all follow. I thank you for being here, and welcome. So I feel like I'll never make a video again. And then something comes my way. I want to thank Chris at Old World Exploration for sharing his book with me. I want to thank you all for your kind wishes. My dear cat has moved on. And I don't know why, but when I heard Chris had compiled a hundred demolished buildings. It seemed to fit my mood or spirit at the moment. So here we are in Cleveland, Ohio, the central armory on the corner of Bond and Lake Street. This building was constructed in 1893 and demolished in 1962. So here she is, an armory. An armory, if you don't know, is a military structure. A place where you would keep arms. Now does this look like a place you would keep arms? And when we look at this we think a place for a king and queen. But I don't think that's even accurate. Whether it's an armory or a castle. All narratives. And it doesn't make sense how long they have kept this an armory, people would begin to ask questions. So in 1962, as part of the Erie View Urban Renewal Project, this baby was demolished. And perhaps this is the first time it's been seen since then, at least by our eyes. Now we're going to look at an old federal building and post office. Here we go. And we can see the post goers down here. Very busy day. We can see the building goes down another floor and they've put boards over the windows here. And just how ornate this baby is. It looks like 10 smaller column making up one side of the support here and this tower one clock two clock some gargoyle and really just super over the top must be an expression that comes from this kind of architecture and a strange looking flag maybe the state flag so anyway excavation began in 1890 okay i don't know this looks like 1890 in this picture here we can see a close-up of that entryway columns within columns making up support and the last day of business was 1931 so there we go a demolished post office and federal building here we have the Metropolitan Building. It stood from 1890 to 1961. So about 50 or 60 years we're getting out of these buildings. Okay, once again, I think this is like an insurance company or a bank or just a loan company. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here you go. Here's the neighbor's building, whatever it is, but not to be outdone by this one. Look at this little rounded patio right here. This detail is genius. Pure art. I can't put my finger on it. Really celestial. Not of this realm necessarily. Representing something else. Not seeming like nature, really. And not seeming like our cube light -like designs of today. What we call modern. Like a skyscraper. Very smooth and square. 1890 to 1961. So like 70 years. All this detail for 70 years. 20 years ago, I lived in Salt Lake and bought a little wooden house. 100 year old house. It was fine. Just like this building could have survived to this day. How long should something survive? Well, as long as it can. As long as it's still useful. If it's a living being. As long as it still enjoys something. And not these buildings. Not the supposed builders of these buildings. We are told 50, 60, 70 years is just fine. And really, if you would have built these buildings, you would never tear them down. The expenditure and quality surpasses the petty idea to tear these down 
for something else. Even now, with the shortage in housing, a lot of these old world buildings that are offices now are going to be repurposed into apartments with large federal assistance. And that's great. But what was this thing anyway? Take a guess. Really, just this tower section. Without the cathedral rose window, but just this top tower section looks kind of Muslim or Moorish. Here again, this looks cathedrally. Ah, the Boys Central High School in Philly, Pennsylvania. Built in 1894, demolished in 1950. There we go. A little more than 50 years for the boys' high school. No girls in this baby. The boys' high school. Think about your high school. And that wasn't good enough. As if it wasn't an absolute honor to have this be a high school or anything. It had to be demolished in the 50s or 60s. Very little information on this structure is available and I've never seen it and most people won't. Here we have a city hall in Galveston, Texas. Really weird building. Super cool. I don't know. This just doesn't make sense in Texas or anywhere. Horse and buggy. I like this buggy. It's kind of a sports model and I don't know what's going on here. It looks like it's in ruins. The windows haven't been washed in a long time and this was the city hall. The weird, crazy city hall in Texas. Uh, the build date is unknown, and it was demolished in 1960. I'm just gonna guess that it was built in 1890. Anyway, 50, 60, 70 years. That's enough. Tear it down. Look at the size of this pole here. Just a large tree. A large pole for today's standard. And his book looks fascinating. Again, Chris at Old World Exploration, and I'm just going to skim through just a teaser. I know we won't get through all 100 building, but here we are in guess which city. Where in the hell are we? This fine futuristic looking city with a super tech up here is Buffalo, New York. Good old Buffalo. Here an ad for hams, bacon, and lard. Excellent. And here we can see a lot lot of horse droppings in the street, even up here on the sidewalk. And here we have a bank, the Erie County Savings Building Bank. 1890, construction started. 1893, it was finished. Banging it out in three years. Looking so weathered, even in this time period. And demolition began in 1967. So such a similar theme here. 67, we cannot have the these monstrosities looming on every corner of the city. People are starting to ask questions. And now we move on to Chicago, the federal building. Constructed from 1898 to 1905, we are told, as a post office, courts, and other government bureaucracy. This is one of my favorite buildings. Just unbelievable. It's like a thousand buildings in one. One floor would have sufficed. Look at the horse and buggies lined up here. Notice the shitty wooden fence. Why the wooden fence? Notice the columns. I mean, again, the building could start up here and it would still be here why all of this and why was this not a national treasure we're told they build this thing in like five years this picture is kind of stretched out a little five years and all the junk in front of it well anyway you can guess when this was demolished that's right 1965 tear it down but boss it's the most beautiful building in the city we have our orders bring her down yeah here we are in new york City. Look at the top of this build. This is called the Singer Build. I mean, this is so futuristic. Even today, the Singer Tower, it was erected in a year. A one year wonder. Many of the buildings in this area are one year wonders. And this thing, Chris does a great job of including interior shot just to show you that it's both inside and out. This detail demolished between 1967 and 69. So they built it in a year, but it took them two to demolish it. Here we have 
of a supposed construction photo and Penn Station demolished. This is one of my favorite parts of Penn Station. Looking up at the roof, the ceiling. I have some rubber mats outside my door. They have the same impression, same, same. A design to increase strength. This is no joke here. Again, why does it need to be what seems like a thousand feet tall, only to be demolished? If anything, this makes us seem like a wasteful and gluttonous people. Oh, the Traymore Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where I was born. I probably walked by the hole left in the footprint after this building was demolished. That's what I remember in my youth. Giant building-sized holes everywhere. And here we go. Completed in 1930 and finally it was demolished in 1972 shortly before i was born and that would explain it no doubt pretty unbelievable here again another atlantic city building the marlboro built in just four years 1902 to 06 and i love this one this one has so many elements looking like india looking moorish world's fair features unbelievable four years in 19 demolished in 1978 there you go you see what i'm talking about and this is before atlantic city is a big gambling town it's to say that this was already a destination town in the old world look at this thing look at this angle everything that las vegas is and yet this is before these gambling towns so what was this really i mean perhaps just what i said a destination resort town city of the old world used for a little bit and then demolished here we are back in philly again the broad street station a terminal for the railroad built 1881 demolished in 1953 i mean why does a railroad have to look like a super apartment building i mean no doubt either hotel or apartment building and that's cool i think that's how it should be of course and i think that's a clue in the old world you would arrive to your destination via rail or air or teleportation and you would just stay here Right, perfectly convenient. How far up could you stay? Are these rooms too? Some of these windows are open. I recently stayed in a hotel and I asked for the top floor and they wouldn't give it to me. How about these? What is going on in here? This is an American railway terminal. I mean, how are you explaining this? If we didn't know what we were looking at, we just wouldn't know what we're looking at. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful and practically speaking stupid but i don't think so i think it has a purpose otherwise they wouldn't have built it just look at the building next door across the street remarkable again thank you chris at old world exploration sharing his soon to be published book in advance with me and it actually does feel good to make a video and actually this is the perfect video as i suspected and was inspired to make in the wake of my loss I mean, here, everything we're looking at is lost, is gone. These buildings, these people, all these horses, gone. And I wish we lived in a culture that dealt with grief better. I think that's a big part of the problem. Many cultures celebrate death, and perhaps that's part of the backwards way of thinking that we've been born into in this backwards culture that has done their very best to erase the old world and the harmonious ways of being and this is what we come from this is what we really come from we are not a hilton or holiday inn people this is what we used to enjoy and these people did too for a short time i think just the upkeep would have been difficult for these people let alone the construction so this is the waldorf astoria built in 1893 demolished in 1929 very very short enjoyment of this building 30 or so year that's enough 1929 very very unsatisfied people there's no reason to even attempt to demolish this even today 
this would be a beautiful building. And I've said it before, but the old world is the most beautiful part of every city. Still celebrated today, but in the 60s, they had different ideas. So here's a really early demolition. The old University of Chicago, established in 1856, really early, and demolished in 1890. Why? Why such an unappreciated beaut? This thing is like the ivory tower in the never ending story. Having all the elements of a castle and cathedral, this could have been anything. Again, today, today, this is a perfect, perfect building. Building would cost at least 30 million today. And if they would have done nothing, it would still be standing today looking exactly like this but demolished university of chicago 1890 so here's a great example again another absolute gingerbread castle and this time it's not a university this time it's just somebody's home maybe they got lazy didn't want to write a story on this day just someone's home constructed in three years and demolished in 1950 rock and roll just becoming popular and these old castle-y gingerbread bread homes have to go demolished american life insurance building just a little peek at the corner it's like an indian chief the mclean tower demolished indiana demolished looks like a city hall really great photo super crisp and here we can see what's going on underground very important i'm glad chris included that it's not enough just to see the building and the impossibilities we're told about it one must consider every aspect and this is one of them what of all this well we know but not the point of today's video i just wanted to share these buildings masonic temple in chicago the record building demolished to make way for a new deal redevelopment Phil Philadelphia. Look at this. Unbelievable. This is our past. Our elegant, royal past America. Before people realized what was going on here. I'm pretty sure that nobody could even begin to build like this today. I could be wrong. A bank, a hotel, Indianapolis, the Imperial. Arapahoe County Courthouse in Denver. Awesome. Never seen it. Just as glorious as the state capitol building and this is just a county courthouse i don't know if you understand how ridiculous that is a county well here she is she was demolished in 1933 just a demolishing party the masonic temple and opera block in minnesota there we go we can see here they first removed the top used about three floors here for a while and probably sold off all this material the top half of this building created a business for someone and so did the bottom half i'm sure a really great way to get a start in this world just inherit a couple of these buildings and this one was demolished in 1911 courthouse county courthouse again here's a city hall in canada those canadians and their city halls obelisk out front with statue city hall have you been to the city hall so i think i'll leave it here i encourage you to check out his book when it comes out i'll let you know we'll end with the los angeles county courthouse here demolished and what we see is gone in these images but not in spirit and i think the spirit that built this old world has been brought back in this community and i'm grateful i'm grateful to to have known, to have loved. For that, I think I'm a better person. And we take from the past and create in the present. That's all we have. We honor what we love in the present, moving into the future. I thank you all for being here today. I love you all. God bless, and I'll see you soon.